So today I'm going to do a get ready with me and before I get started I wanted to let you guys know I am now a dossier perfume brand ambassador. So yeah, I am so excited about this opportunity. So thank you guys over there at dossier for you know making me a ambassador. So today I am trying out or I am using YSL's black opium their version of course. So this is the Florentil Vanilla. I hope I'm saying that right. It's their version of YSL's Black Opium. It smells so good, you guys. It's amazing. It comes in a box like this with a sample that you can try before you try the big bottle. Try the sample first. If you don't like it, there's like no hassle return. Okay, no questions asked. If you don't like it, you can send the whole big bottle back and the sample is just for you to try. All right, they also accept um, suggestions on scents to make in the future, and they also have bundle deals. So if you buy three or more bottles, you can get up to 25% off of your purchase, you guys. There's always free returns and free shipping. Most of their perfumes are around $29 to $39, comparing them to their higher-end versions, you know, they are very budget-friendly. Every order comes with a sample size, so you could try that before you actually try the 50 ml bottle that it comes with. If you don't like it, you can. If you don't like it, you can return it without a problem. It's free returns. They're not gonna bother you about it, and they'll give you your refund back. But I promise you, you're going to love your perfume. Okay, so thanks, those here. I think this is my first time being a brand ambassador for any company that I have reviewed for, like ever, that has actually said, "Hey, we want you to be our brand ambassador." So. Thank you, Dossier. So yeah, if I have a coupon code for them, it will be in the description box. If I didn't like this, I would not be sharing this with you guys. And I don't think they would have made me brand ambassador. Did I say that enough times? <laughs> but yeah, if you guys want to check out Dossier, their information is down below for the middle time brand ambassador. Wow. All right, if you guys want to see me get ready, please keep on watching. Hey, guys. So I can't make you guys a video after I promised that I was going to you done, babe? You can stay there. You done sneezing? I'll just edit that. All right, voice over it is since my husband can't stop sneezing. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I'm going to do my eyebrows before I do this get ready with me. And somebody is now waking up the minute I start my voice over, of course. Um, as usual, I'm using my facial hair remover. If you guys try to do this, please use a hair removing cream that is meant for the face. All right, so it's very simple. I use a concealer brush to outline my brows and, well, not outline my brows, but to apply my hair removing product. You can use a pencil to outline your brows to make sure you get that shape nice and right and follow the directions and take off the cream after, you know, you've met the time. Do not go past 10 minutes, okay? I'm just gonna fill in my brows using my LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. I didn't want my brows to be too, too dark, so that's why I use Brunette. And I'm also going in with my all-time forever favorite, LA Girl Pro HD Concealer in the shade Fawn, and I'm just gonna clean up my brows with that. I'm using this um, palette from Crayon Case. I believe it's called Watch Me Blush. And I'm using the nude colored shade in my transition area and blending it upward. Then I'm going to set my brows using some airspun translucent powder. I'm just going to tap that in place. And for my lid, I'm not using an eyeshadow. I'm actually using a pressed foundation or powder foundation on my lids. Because I want to do like a nude colored 
kind of cut crease situation that's that's what I'm going for I haven't done makeup like as much as I would like and the last video I did do my makeup and that actually took a couple of tries so you know I wasn't trying to do anything too extravagant and crazy so I wanted to do something simple but slightly dramatic to kind of make it look like I tried a bit okay um, I'm going to use a brown shade and a angle brush to outline where I want the cut crease to be and it's just like a simple 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 cut crease nothing too crazy so using a brown shade first and then I'm going to use a deeper brown shade to blend it right above that brown shade to kind of give it a transition look and then I'm going to go in with a lighter brown shade and blend that right above the chocolatey color shade that I used before. And then I'm going to go in with a black eyeshadow just right above the line, right above the line, just a tiny bit, the smallest amount. And then I'm going to go back in with my angle liner, um, my angle brush, I mean, and I'm going to deepen that crease line just a tiny bit because I do want it to stand out, okay? So here's where I just add just a tiny bit of black to the crease, mostly to the outer part. And I'm just going to reapply just a bit of that pressed powder. I'm using my Allegro Cajel Eyeliner Pencil, very, very pigmented and creamy. And just lining my eyes, nothing too crazy, no wing liner, just a line across. And I'm going to use the same angle liner brush to kind of smudge that out a bit, soften it up. And pop on some lashes. Before I do that, I'm going to put on some mascara. You can put your mascara on after you put on your lashes, you guys. These lashes are in the style Nefertiti, Nefertiti, Nefertiti. Um, they're from a company called Double Trouble. So shout out to them for sending me these very large <laughs> lashes. They're very dramatic. I had some extra concealer left behind my hand from doing my brows, so I decided to use that to kind of cover... Um, the discoloration that I have on my face, especially around my mouth area or any little blemishes I may have. So that's why it looks a little crazy. I was actually talking while filming, but my husband couldn't stop sneezing. And then all the kids started making noises. So that's why I'm just doing a voiceover, you guys. It's just much easier, especially, especially now with the baby, you know. Oh, she was crying as well. She was upset because she couldn't see me. She's here right now while I'm doing my voiceover, eating and watching me. So, you know, it, it's just easier this way. All right, so I'm just gonna blend out that very bright, pasty, ugly <laughs> concealer and then go over it with my Smashbox foundation. Um, this one is in the shade 4.5. I really, really like this color. I'm just going to pat this onto my face, not really brush it on, but pat it on. And this gives you more of an airbrushed look. If you want to use a sponge, you can use a sponge. And then to get in between my brows, I squeeze my brush so it gets a little bit more thin, narrow, so I can get in between my brows. Do you see how good that color looks? I think it looks good. I'm going to use a bit of that concealer just to clean up the top part of my brow as well. Just to kind of get it more defined. And then just blend out the edges with my fingers. I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro HD Concealer under my eyes to highlight just a bit. I haven't been sleeping a lot, so, you know, dark circles are creeping up. They are creeping up. And I'm also going to apply a bit of this concealer to the bridge part of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and my forehead as well. I know it may look like a lot of product. It is a lot of different products that I'm using, but it's a small amount of everything, I promise, okay? And I'm just going to blend this out. My face does not feel heavy or thick or like it can't breathe. It's actually very light. You really do not need to glob on, you know, a lot of product to you know make your things work even if they're affordable products you, you don't need to like put on pounds of it you know I know a lot of people do that just for you know videos and clicks and stuff but you don't need to put on too 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 much okay I think I've done that in the past too but you don't you don't need to put on a whole bunch unless you're going for a very heavy look okay 
And this fiber sponge that I got from Juno and Co, you guys, I believe I have a 30% off coupon code for them. I am an affiliate with them. So I'll put that down below. I really like this brush for setting under the mm -hmm. eyes because those, the not the brush, the sponge, it has little fibers on it. It's kind of like a, a brush and a sponge had a baby almost. So really like it for setting under the eyes. You can also use it to blend out your foundation. And I'm gonna go in with your with your with my it's your face cosmetic palette and using the darkest shade to contour my face, my cheekbones, and then my jawline. And then I'm also going to do around my temple, my hairline as well. This is just gonna add some definition back into my face that the foundation took away. And then I'm also going to use whatever product is left on the brush to contour my nose. The contouring also adds some more color to the face. You know, my husband was asking me if I felt rusty doing my makeup and stuff. Well, honestly, I did. Like, I, my hands are just not used to doing my makeup anymore, you know. I know it's, just, it's not been the longest break, but I haven't been doing the makeup, you know. I think this is probably the second or, or third time that I've done my makeup all year long. It really is. It's probably the third time, actually. You know, with everything going on in the world, we're, we're wearing masks. So there's really no need for it, you know. I know some people are still doing full face makeup. It just, it, I don't know. It just feels like a waste of my time. But, you know, I did it because the year is ending. And I felt like I just needed to look a little bit pretty and not bring in the new year looking like mom. <laughs> All right, I'm using my LA Girl Kajel Eyeliner in my waterline and right underneath my lashes, and then I'm going to use that chocolatey brown shade from the Spotlight Palette from OPV. I believe I have a coupon code for them, too. Um, I think it's 10%. All that stuff is going to be in the description box for you guys, and I'm just going to smoke out my lower lashes and add some mascara. I decided to embrace the molds on my face just a bit more, so I do um, add them back at the end of the video to where they were. I had a little bit of mascara on my face, so I covered that, and then I added some glitter to the inner parts of my eye area. But I felt as though I needed some something, a little bit of razzle-dazzle, just a little bit. I'm using this bronzified loose powder highlight from Makeup Addiction, one of my favorites highlighting the tip of my nose and the bridge part of my nose as well. I need to brush, like, not brush, I need to wash all my brushes, you guys. They all feel, I don't know, funny. Like, since I haven't been using them, they just feel weird. So I just need to wash them all. The liquid lipstick I'm using is from Milani. Um, the name isn't on it anymore. I'll put it in the description box once I find it, okay? I do love the color of this liquid lipstick. I just didn't like the formula, but if you moisturize your lips, it does help a bit with the flaking. All right, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out Dossier. Subscribe to my channel and check out my other channels. I have a DIY channel and a cooking channel. I love you guys, and I really hope this is a better year for us all. Love you guys. Bye.